Okay, excellent. Okay, you guys will each need uh, one of these pans here today. I know you used them a little bit last day, but we hadn't seasoned them. So actually they have a bit of a, an oily film on them. And we were just practicing last day, but you may have been losing stuff because of that oily film. When you get yourself a brand new pan like this, it's sort of shiny and new and nice looking. Well, that shininess is actually a problem. It is an oil that's on the surface of the pan from when they cast this. They cast this in a machine and they use a bit of oil so it comes out of the machine easy. And that oil is a problem. Not only that, the very, very smooth surface is a bit of a problem for catching gold. Having little tiny scratches in there really helps to catch the little gold from just sliding off that ed edge of that pan. So what we're going to do today is we're going to season or dress the pan. To do that, we will need one of these little abrasive sponge pads. We'll need a bit of water and soap. Add a little bit of water to your pan. Oh, see how the water just beads up? It doesn't wet the pan, it just beads up and rolls around. That's because the oil in there. A little bit of soap. Don't go crazy on the soap, guys. Take that uh, abrasive side, get the soap and water, and just start scrubbing it. Scrub all the way around. Really focus on the whole rifle. These little riffles here, I always say rifles, riffles, I'm not sure what it is. The, the little bumps that hold the gold behind, that's where you really want the gold to stay put. So make sure you scrub that carefully. All the way around. Take a few minutes. Take a few minutes. Don't just do a quick job. Get it all done nicely. Right down in the bottom corner. Get in there. Get that bottom corner really good. Now, when you go to wash this out, to rinse this out afterwards, rinse it out in the sink, not in our panning tubs. We don't want that much soap in our panning tubs, otherwise they will start to froth up. A little bit of soap is actually not a problem in panning tubs, but a whole lot and we'd actually get it frothing and that's not good. Okay, you're gonna take that really good for a long period of time. If you guys go and buy yourself a metal gold pan, they don't work as well. So the plastic ones work way better. But if you have a metal gold pan, all you do to, to season it is you put it in a fire or you put it in your oven nice and hot and it'll burn off all the oils and it'll also blacken the pan, which makes it easier for you to see the gold. You'll notice now that I've rinsed it out that the water is not beating up anymore and running off. And that's because we've taken a lot of those oils out of there already and now the water can sit down in the pan nicely. That's important for finished panning. Really important for finished panning that it doesn't bead up on you because the water flow, if it beads up, just gets right messed up and will mess up your finished pan. So we've got this sand here. You guys can go up to the sand pile out back and get some when you do yours. Just take a little bit of sand and toss it in. And then I'm just gonna, with my hand, rub it around. This is creating those little tiny scratches. Don't use big rocks because we don't want big grooves. We don't want, we don't want big gouges in there. We just want very small, very small scratches. If you use a gold pan for any length of time, it'll do this naturally as you move the sand around in there. Any gold pan that's been used for more than a few pans worth will already be abraded a bit. But we're gonna do it with ours. We're just gonna take a bit of sand and run it around in there. It can take two or three minutes, maybe swirls, lines, whatever, and get that all roughed up. By the time you're done here, you'll have no skin left on your fingers. My favorite gold pan is actually my first. I have three of these, but my first one because it's been used so much, it has, it's, it's got the perfect patina on it. Just the right amount of scratches, it looks great, it works great. Now once you've done this, your pan is gonna be ready for you. You guys will each need one pan here. Once you've got it all uh, done up nicely, I want you to dry it really carefully and we're gonna put a sticker on. Hopefully it's waterproof enough.
sticker on there, you'll write your names on it. Each of you guys will have your own pan for working out here. We've got 20 minutes before break. Let's get these things ready to go. 